السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته من رمضان كريم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله ربنا تبارك وتعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له Oh Allah send you peace and blessings on Sunnah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on his family and on his companions and on those who follow him till the day of judgment Allahumma ameen And so today inshallah we shall cover, we shall cover one of the uh, one of the amazing ayahs in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim wa laqad yanasarakum Allah bi badr wa antum adhillah fattaqu Allah la'allakum tashkurun And indeed Allah has given you victory at Badr while you were few in numbers Thus be mindful of Allah perhaps you will be grateful and, and, and this, uh, this ayah is such an amazing ayah because it, it, it has many different uh, aspects to it that we can cover today. Um, and, and one of those is, is the meaning of victory, the meaning of Nasr, the victory that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed on the believers in the Battle of Badr. And uh, it, th- this is important to, to understand because many times uh, in America, you know, uh, especially with the youth, we try to change things and we're, uh, we live in a culture of innocent gratification where we expect to see the results of our effort very, very quickly and uh, almost immediately. And um, we, we, we try to change our, our community and our schools and our masajid and our youth programs and our MSAs and our clubs and our friend groups. And, um, you know, many times our efforts don't yield any tangible results. We don't see anything um, that, that, that justifies us spending the time and the effort. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining this idea. Do you think that the companions who went into the Battle of Badr knew for certain that they're going to win? In fact, if anything, if the numbers were any indication, they were going to lose. However, they made a choice that they were going to put in their best effort nonetheless. And this idea that, that your victory is not quantified in the numbers of what you gain and what you don't gain, but in you seeking your best and doing your best and, and, and trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala however you can and in the best manner possible, that's your victory. That is all the difference between um, winning and losing. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, later on explains in the Quran, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ إِيمَانَكُمْ what, ha- what has been gained and what has been lost is your faith, your belief. And, and that's, that's the true place, that's the true place to fight our battle. And in Ramadan, um, this battle takes a personal, uh, a personal side where now we, you know, every day the shaitan is going to try to you know, um, stop you, except in Ramadan the shaitan is tired. And every day um, you're going to be facing you know, uh, issues and problems, except that in Ramadan the, the, the playground is, is in your favor. So let's try to um, um, seek to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, do our best in Ramadan. We're still in the early days, you know, still in the first 10 days. So um, try to get a good vibe for your Ramadan and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our Siyam and our Qiyam and our Tarawih. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.